Hello and welcome back to our online violin class. This is our third day of our class together online and maybe today you noticed that there is a chart behind me. So this is our ticket chart and the way our ticket chart is going to work is every time I see a practice video from one of you on our homeroom page I will put a sticker next to your name and for every sticker that you earn you'll earn a ticket whenever we see each other again and so if we can earn 30 tickets all together as a class we get to have a violin party we'll have snacks and we'll have games and we'll get to have a party for the whole class period the next time we see each other but only if we get all 30 tickets collectively as a class. So on our homeroom page, I saw DeMario playing Perpetual Motion. So he gets a sticker next to his name. And I saw Yash also practicing Perpetual Motion. So he gets a sticker. And then I saw Eddie practice his G major scale, and I saw him practicing the first line of Allegretto. So he gets two stickers next to his name. One and two. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four stickers. So we only have 26 to go until we earn a violin party. So make sure you keep up the good work. So let's get our violins out. And let's start by tuning. So I'm gonna hold my violin right next to the camera. And I'm going to use my tuning app. Remember, we open the app and then we touch the tuning fork button. And let's see what happens when I pluck my A string. Good! So it's showing an A and the green light is flashing. So that's in tune. So is our E string. So we want... As long as the green light is flashing, that means we're good. Well, let's check my D string. Good, green light's flashing. And G is good too. Okay, so remember, if your violin is too low, you use your fine tuners and you turn clockwise to make the pitch go higher, and you turn counterclockwise to make the pitch go lower. So my violin is in tune. I'm ready to start warming up. So today, our warm-up rhythm is gonna be the same rhythm that we had on Monday. So we're gonna practice clapping our quarter note and two eighth notes. So remember, a quarter note gets one count, and two eighth notes equal one count. So remember, our eighth notes are twice as fast as our quarter notes. So let's get our metronome going. Okay, listen. Click, click. One, two, and one, two, and one, two, and one, two, and long, short, short, long, short, short, long, short, short, long, short, short. So whenever we play that rhythm on our violin, it will sound like this. Listen first, here I go. <laughs> long bow and then short bows on the eighth notes. Mm -hmm. 
So we're going to practice our G major scale today. So remember, this is the one we learned on Monday. So we're going to start with our violins up high on our shoulders. We're going to put our bows all the way over on the G string. And make sure that whenever you pull your bow, you only hear your G string, not accidentally any D string like this. We don't want to hear two strings, we just want to hear the one low G string. So make sure your elbow is up high enough to get your bow all the way over on the G string. So let's practice our G major scale with our warm up rhythm. Ready? One, two, here we go. straight mirror hand? Is your thumb across from your first finger? We're gonna try that one more time with our G major scale, but this time we're gonna reverse the rhythm. So instead of playing long, short, short, long, short, short, we're gonna do short, short, long, short, short, long, short, short, long. It's gonna sound like this. Listen first. <laughs> that rhythm all together. And let's make sure that our left hands are looking really good. Ready? Get our bows on the G string. Ready? One, two, here we go. today is we're going to practice our five note scale because we haven't done that one in a little while. So we're going to do our five note scale on the D string. So whenever we do our five note scale, remember we have to make sure that we're using our really, really good left hand posture. So let's take a minute to check. So make sure your thumb is still in a good spot. Make sure your wrist is still straight. Make sure you're holding up your violin and not slouching over. And then also check to make sure that your fingers are really round so that you can almost see all the way through your fingers. So let's get our bows on the D string. We're going to do our short, short, long, short, short, long rhythm all together. Ready? One, two, here we go. <laughs> to start playing our violin songs. So first we need to review perpetual motion because we didn't get to do that one last time. So I bet this card looks really familiar. The last time we played this card in class we did it 10 times in a row. 
And each time we practiced it, we sounded better and better. So we're going to do that exact same thing today. We're going to play two, three, four, two, three, one, E string, ten times in a row. So let's pick up our violins. Let's get our second finger down. Remember, this card is from the first line of perpetual motion. It's the part at the end of the first half. So let's get our second fingers down. And we're going to play it through ten times all together. Ready? Here we go. Let's try it nine more times. Second finger down, ready, here we go. Eight times, ready, here we go. Seven times, here we go. Six more times, here we go. Five more times, halfway there, ready, go. Four more times. I bet it's sounding better and better every time. Let's see if we can make it even better in these next four tries. Ready, go. Three more times. Ready, go. Two more times. Ready, go. One last time. Here we go. Oh, we did that 10 times in a row. So we can put our violins down for just a second. And the next part we're going to review is the third line. So you can keep your violin down and listen to me. We're going to play these eight notes all together. So this is from the third line. We're starting with our second finger on the A string. Ready, listen first. Just that much. Listen one more time. And let's pick our violins back up. Let's get them high on our shoulders. Make sure we're still using our good left hand posture just like we do for warm ups. Let's start with our second finger down, bows on the A strings. Ready, here we go. Let's play those eight notes five times in a row. Let's try it. Ready? Here we go. Four more times. Ready? Here we go. Three more times. Here we go. Two more times. Ready, go. One last time. Here we go. And 
listen to the next part. Listen first, fourth finger down. Here I go. So make sure we're using our fourth finger for this next E. And then we cross over to the E string. So listen one more time. And let's pick our violins up. Let's get them on our shoulders. Let's play through it together. All four fingers are down. All four fingers should be nice and curly. Ready, here we go. Let's try it again. Fourth finger on the A string. Ready, here we go. Four, two, three. We're going to play those eight notes five times in a row. Let's start with our fourth finger down. Ready? One, two, here we go. Four more times. Ready? Here we go. Three more times. Ready, here we go. Two more times. Ready, here we go. One last time. Ready, fourth finger down. Here we go. And now we're ready to put all of those notes from the third line all together. So listen first. Let's try that together. Let's start with our second finger down from the beginning of the third section. Ready, here we go. So now I think we're ready to play all the way through the third section. So remember in the third section we play what we just played on our violins two times in a row. So remember to think about that and make sure that your bow doesn't stop. So here's what it should not sound like. Listen. Did you hear that pause? We don't want to hear any pause. So after we play our third finger on the E string, right away we have to drop our second finger on the A string and cross our bows over to the A string. So let's try that one time together. We're going to start from right here. Three. Drop your second finger. Let's try that together now. Ready? Fourth finger down. Here we go. Was your second finger ready? Let's try it one more time. Let's use our super, super speedy fingers and get our second finger down on the A string right away. Let's try that one more time. Ready? Here we go. Was your second finger ready? Make sure you practice it. So now we're going to try to play through the whole third line together. 
So we're going to do the whole, what we just learned and do it twice. So let's start with our second finger on the A string. Ready? One, two, here we go. So we reviewed our card from Perpetual Motion and the third section. So make sure if you practice Perpetual Motion this week that you focus on the notes from our card and the notes from the third section. So on Monday we got to learn the first line of our next song and it's called Allegretto and it sounds like this. So we're going to review that today, and today we're going to take it six notes at a time. So we're going to start with the first six notes. They sound like this. Listen first. So with our fingers, we do two, one, two, two, four, three. We're going to try that together now. Let's get our violins up high on our shoulders. Let's make sure we have our straight wrists and our curly tunnel fingers. Bows on the D string. Try to play with me. Ready? Here we go. Two, one, two, two, four, three. Let's try that again. Ready? Here we go. Now let's see if we can play that three times together. Ready? Here we go. Let's try that two more times. Ready? Here we go. One more time. Ready? Here we go. Listen to the next six notes. So this is where we have our string crossing over to the A string. So for these six notes, we're going to start with our third finger on the D string, first finger on the A string, A string, and then A string, third finger on the D string again, two. Listen again. Let's practice playing that together. So let's start with our third finger on the D string. Ready? Here we go. Let's try it again. Third finger on the D string. Ready? Here we go. Three, one, A, A, three, two. Let's try it again. Here we go. Let's try that three more times in a row. Ready? Here we go. Two more times. Ready? Go. One more time. Ready? Go. So now let's go back to the beginning of the song and see if we can put all of those notes all together. So these are the first 12 notes. Listen from the beginning. Ready? 
Let's try playing that much together. Bows on the D string. Watch my fingers. Ready? One, two, here we go. Let's try that two more times. Ready? Here we go. Let's try it again. Ready? Here we go. So now listen to the next six notes. Listen again. Two, four, three, three, two, one. So we don't have to worry about any string crossings for these six notes. They stay all on the D string. Watch one more time. Let's try that together now. Let's start with our second finger on the D string, bows on D strings. Ready, one, two, here we go. Try again, ready, go. Two, four, three, three, two, one. Let's try that one more time. Ready, here we go. Try it one last time without me saying the numbers. And listen to the next six notes. Listen again. One, two, 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 one. Let's try playing that together with our First finger on the D string, bows on D strings. Ready? Here we go. Let's try again. Ready? Go. One, three, two, two, one, two. Let's try that three more times together. Ready? First finger is down. Here we go. Two more times. First finger down. Ready? Here we go. One last time. Ready? Here we go. So now let's see if we can put those 12 notes together. So listen one more time. This is where we're starting from. So we don't have to worry about any string crossings for this section. We stay all on the D string. Listen one more time and really watch my fingers. Ready, here I go. Two, four, three. Let's try all together. So we're starting with our second finger on the D string and we're ready to play with our fourth finger after we play our second finger but we're gonna start with our second finger. Ready? Bows on D strings. Here we go. Give that another try. Second finger down. Ready? Here we go. Let's try that one last time. Second finger down. 
Here we go. So that is the end of the first line of Allegretto. So listen to me play from the beginning one last time, and then let's see if we can play through the first line together. But listen first. Try playing it with me. If you get lost, try to look at my fingers. So we're starting with our bow on the D string. Let's go a little bit slowly. Ready? One, two, here we go. Let's try that one last time. Ready? Here we go. ticket, you can post a practice video on Homeroom and you can show me either the first line of Allegretto and you can use the, um, the picture I posted a few days ago um, with all the notes written out for Allegretto because Allegretto is a song that's not in our usual paper booklet, like Perpetual Motion is. Um, so make sure you use that and you can show me the first line of Allegretto or you can show me your Perpetual Motion run through, especially if you haven't already posted your Perpetual Motion run through. So I can't wait to see what you guys post on our page and I will see you next time.